morning one and all present here. I am Charvi Tiwari from class 7th A from Kalyan branch and today I am going to tell you about speed. So when I say the word speed, what comes in your mind? Watches, cycles, race, car race, cheetah, animals and more. Now let us learn what to actually mean by speed. So we should Imagine that Ram and Sham are two boys. They ran 200 meter race. Ram finishes his race in 20 seconds and Sham in 25 seconds. Then who ran fast? Obviously Ram because the rate at which Ram was running was 200 meter divided by 20 seconds. That is equal to 10 meter per second. Whereas the rate at which Sham was running was 200 meters divided by 25 seconds that is equals to 8 meters per second. So it must be clear that both the boys have ran same distance but one of them is faster. He covers more distance in more unit of time. So there are two types of speed uniform and non-uniform. Let us learn about uniform. When a body covers equal distance in equal intervals of time, here we can see that this car is covering 2 kilometers in 2 minutes from point A to B. Then it covers B to C 2 kilometers in 2 minutes and again and again it repeats its motion. It, it is known as uniform speed or constant. Now let us learn non-uniform. When a body covers unequal distance in equal intervals of time, as we can see, this car is covering 2 kilometers in 2 minutes, then again 4 kilometers in 2 minutes, then again and again he changes its distance, but the time interval is same, is known as uni non uniform speed. So, now let us learn formulas. The main formula for speed is speed is equals to distance upon time. The formula for distance is distance is equals to speed into time. The formula to find time is time is equals to distance upon speed. So there are some units for speed. SCGS unit is centimeter per second, SI unit is meter per second and the bigger unit is kilometer per hour. So now the relation between kilometer per hour and meter per second. So 1 kilometer per hour upon 1 hour that is equal to 10,000 meters upon 3,600 seconds that is equal to 5 upon 80 meter per second. So 1 kilometer per hour is equal to 5 upon 80 meter per second. Let us solve some questions related to speed. First question, a scooter travels 10 meters in every 5 seconds. Then what is the speed of the scooter? Let us solve. A man walks with the speed of 4 meter per second in every 5 seconds. Find the distance he travel. Let us solve. A car travel with the speed of 2 meter per second in, ev in every 20 meters. What is the time taken? Let us solve. First question. In that we have to find speed. So here we will use the formula. Speed is equals to distance upon time upon time speed of the scooter will is equals to so the distance travel was 10 meters in every 5 seconds so that is equals to 2 meter per second because the unit of distance is meters and the unit of time is seconds. So that is equals to 2 meters per second. Second question. The distance covered by the man. So the formula for distance is. Distance is equals to speed into time. Speed into time. So your distance is equals to, 
the speed of the man was 4 meters per second into the time he take was 5 seconds that is equals to 20 meters 20 meters because here the distance is for the for the speed the distance is used as meter so we will write here meters so the third question is we have to find time so the formula for time is time is equals to distance upon speed so here time is equals to the car travel was distance is 20 meters and the speed is 2 meters per second so that is equals to 10 seconds because the time unit is 10 year in the speed so we will write 10 seconds so these are some questions we sh you should always find some questions and solve so we should learn the relation between kilometer per hour and meter per second so 1 kilometer per hour is equals to 1 kilometer upon 1 hour that is equals to 1000 meters upon 3600 seconds that is equals to 5 upon 18 meter per second so now let us summarize what we have learned we have learned speed we have learned the two types of speed, uniform and non-uniform. We have learned some formulas for speed. We have learned units of speed and we have solved some questions. So, thank you Narayana for giving me such a wonderful opportunity for participating in Little Teachers. Mm -hmm.